Hey Paul, I've been hearing a lot about something called the O Plan. What is it? Well, Christina, O Plan stands for Operational Plan. But what is it? Well, it's a strategic plan to make this district go from good to great. What does it involve? Well, there's four major components. There's people, execution, capacity development, and systems. Oh, I'd love to hear more about it. You know who the big champion of this is? What a stunning coincidence! Hey guys, hey, what's Colonel. going on? You're You're just just here? Please, we were just talking about the old plan. I was trying to tell Christina more about it, and I figured you'd be the man to do that. Oh, great. Well, how far did you get? I just got the four highlights. Okay, well, look, that's a, a good start. And I don't know how much you know about this so far, Christina, well, but... Well, word's been spreading like wildfire. Well, I, I, don't, I don't doubt that. Uh, this is pretty exciting stuff. Uh, it it kind of starts off of the, uh, the USACE campaign plan, which tries to take a, a broader look at how the core is going to go from good to great. And, you know, down at the district level, even in a wartime setting, we need to do the same thing. Uh, I think you could arguably say uh, we're more than good. We're probably very good right now. But no matter how you want to measure us, we can be better. And uh, if we want to be great, we got to tighten some things up. We've got to evaluate where we are. We've got to listen to what people are telling us, uh, what our customers are saying, what our own employees are saying and then try to put some of those things into a plan, assign responsibilities, and then put that plan into action. Exactly. We had uh, 60 people at a two-day planning seminar where we came up with a lot of that. Yeah, and it was uh, all of the district's uh, senior leaders. I asked for all the branch chiefs and above to come together for, um, for two days, and it was really some focused um, dialogue about what it would take to go from good to great. Um, it really revolves around one element, and, uh, and that is our primary deliverable. We build stuff, and we need to build a lot of stuff. And, uh, and so we kind of put the flag in the middle of the room and said, we need to build a billion and a half dollars worth of, uh, of projects every year for the next several years if we're going to finish. That's a big ticket. Uh, it is. It's a stretch goal. I won't uh, deny that. But uh, if you do the math and look at how much is in front of us, if we don't do a billion and a half every year, we're never going to finish in a reasonable amount of time. It could take 10 years, and I don't think anybody in the district, certainly uh, nobody back home that's paying for it, would think we got 10 years left. We, we really need to have a sense of urgency. So if you put that billion and a half dollars a year in the middle of the room and figure out what are the people components of what it will take to do a billion and a half. What do we need to tighten up in our execution? How are we going to do that billion and a half? Uh, you know, what are the capacity development components that got to go hand in hand with that billion and a half? And then, you know, what are the systems, the efficiencies, the processes that we, we need to tighten up uh, to get to that level of performance? And so, you know, it really starts with one central element and then puts a plan uh, around all of that. Who's going to do this? Um, well, I think you'll find out that uh, every member of the district is going to have to own it. Um, but the plan? Well, the plan, uh, you know, nobody's going to be singly responsible for it, maybe, maybe other than me. <laughs> uh, but I would say uh, you are, and Paul is, and everyone in the district should be um, graded according to how well we do on all of this stuff. we got to own it. And uh, we have champions. Uh, each of the, uh, uh, the key tasks in the plan is, uh, is uh, we have a champion assigned to that. And uh, they'll be held uh, accountable and responsible. But ultimately, it's uh, all 1,100 people in the district that are going to have to be a part of this effort. That seems like a pretty good summation. Well, um, uh, it's a lot of work. Uh, I'm excited about it. But, uh, you know, you shouldn't just take my word for it, for example. Uh, why don't you go talk to some of the champions and the people that are really going to have to implement this plan and see what they have to say about it. That's not a bad idea. Well, Paul, it looks like you have an assignment. Looks that way. All right, well, good luck, and, uh, and thanks for what you all will do to make this plan possible. Hey, have a great day. See you thanks. later. See you, wow, How so interesting. I have to go talk to all these people.